<laughs> hey guys, so I'm here with Sean Fazella. What's up? And I'm Emily Rose, and we are going to talk about a one light setup. Yeah, we are. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so today we are going to use and demo a Alien B800. They're really great, they're super durable, they're super portable. It's a really great, um, it's really great equipment to kind of really get started in your career, but also can prolong you throughout your career. So this is definitely something that, can, yeah. that is easy to start out with, for sure. Um, you can still do everything that these really expensive, bigger name brands can do. I think it would be a great starter light for any beginners out there who just want to learn what strokes do. So we're going to start off with the one light setup here. Yeah. I probably should bring my camera, my, my laptop closer so we could do the demo, right? For sure. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> we brought the computer, we're set up, and Sean is going to go ahead and explain his setup <laughs> with his modifier and what he will do to take a photo of me on this chair. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Okay, so what I have right now is just one of my alien bees. I have it attached to this PLM umbrella. Um, I think it's an 81 inch from Pop-Up as well. Um, this is such a great attachment for a one light setup. Um, I'm a big fan of really soft, uh, gentle light. So um, what it does is the light actually shoots inside. There is a, um, there's a black fabric behind in the back of the umbrella, and that stops the light from going anywhere else and keeps it inside the umbrella. Then when the light bounces back out of it, we have another diffusion sheet that goes over top of it to make that even softer. Um, shooting with alien bees, however, um, one thing that you do want to keep in mind is not to go over a 200 shutter speed. Um, it's not quick enough to kind of release, it doesn't have a quick enough option to release all of that light in, so it kind of cuts and leaves a mark on your images. So definitely stay beneath. Uh, and you don't feet. want that. Exactly. You don't want that. Exactly. So we're going to shoot, um, I'm going to go with 160 shutter speed just for right now, just for a starting point. And we're going to be using this B-flat as a backdrop. I don't want to keep any detail on that B-flat, so I'm going to shoot with a higher aperture at a 2.8. Um, and then we're just going to kind of play around with the exposures on here. I don't have a light meter with me, but I, even if I did have a light meter with me, I wouldn't use it anyway. I know. <laughs> well, see, <laughs> I, you know, I truly believe there are no rules in photography. Absolutely. It is a creative process. Practicing on your own and seeing what works best for you. So I'm going to go around halfway between a one fourth and a uh, half stop um, on the alien B set. I'd love to start like around like one one fourth and then see how um, there's natural light coming into this studio right now. So we would have to see also how that light is affecting this light. Exactly. We don't want to combat it too much, but it can also be really beneficial in um, letting more light in. So if you want to have a little bit more of a fuller frame or something a little bit more lit and something not as shadowy or moody, it'll definitely help you kind of balance between the light and the um, light and the natural light. Perfect. So that's what we got. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So that exposure was actually pretty spot on. Yeah, I don't think that I would really change much of anything. Like I said, we don't have any detail on the backdrop, so keeping that at that, that two point eight aperture really helps with that. The light is extremely even all over. Yeah, and Sean, what is your ISO and your shutter? My yeah, ISO is one hundred. Uh, my shutter speed is at one sixty, and my aperture is at two point eight. And like I said, we look we're looking good. Um, another thing that I really love about this light too, and uh, this attachment is that um, it has a really beautiful catch light in the eyes. I love kind of seeing that like little white at the brim, um, and it's wide too, so it kind of makes your eyes look a little bit fuller yeah. later. It's perfect for beauty lighting, it's perfect for fashion, because <laughs> it's so big. So, yeah. All right guys, so I'm super happy with the way that everything turned out with this um, umbrella. I am gonna show you another way to kind of utilize um, a single light setup without any kind of attachments or with any kind of other equipment um, or um, accessories for your lighting. So I'm gonna take this umbrella off. Um, and just kind of show you how to utilize just the light itself with bounce. So now that we just have the light itself, um, let's have a little funnel at the top just to kind of direct the light. This will obviously come with any kind of lighting attachments that you have. Um, that way the light kind of doesn't go anywhere except for this exact direction so you can kind of pinpoint where you're bouncing. Um, we're going to be utilizing uh, these B-flats. So we're going to just be utilizing these B-flats, but I want you to keep in mind that you can literally use whatever you find available. For a long time when I was first starting, I was utilizing sheets. It's all about ingenuity and creativity and having fun with it. So for right now, like I said, we're going to use these B-flats. And what I'm going to do is bring this light in, and what it does is essentially the same kind of situation as the umbrella. We're going to bounce light towards a white subject, um, broad enough to cover your main subject. 
You might have to increase your, um, you might have to increase the exposure or the power on the alien beast by just a little bit to compensate for the um, for the light and the accessory not being as close to the subject. But again, play around, be creative, and see what you like. So we're gonna actually start with our um, our alien bees between halfway between uh, eighth and fourth, um, just to bring in a little bit because this is a little bit closer. So and our settings on our camera are still gonna be exactly the same. We're gonna do 160 and 2.8 at 100 ISO, and we're just gonna see where that takes us. Let's do three five. Um. So because he brought the V flat closer and there's no um, modifier on it, we're thinking it is a little too bright. So um, he raised up he raised up his f stop, and we'll see what that looks like. I'm currently at 160 at a four. There she is. Oh, there she goes. Ta -da. She's tan again. <laughs> there we are. So we've got detail and shadows, and we've got a clear sight of highlights without being overexposed. That is perfect. Mwah! Looks Mwah. amazing. <laughs> so uh, we wanted to share with you guys um, one of my um, one light setup using a Profoto. I have my Parabolics 45 on it. Um, it does do an even lighting. However, with the Parabolics, it just gives it a little bit more of a punch. And it has more of like it has more of a control as to what you're shooting yes. at too. So um, obviously like the sides are blacked out, so this is gonna help funnel um, your lighting too. And like she said in the beginning, the um, the silver inside is gonna be a little bit more of a more precise yeah. kind of like funnel towards your towards your subject yeah. as well. So you really not only are you um, funneling your light as to where you're letting it go, but the light inside of it is bouncing off something so harsh like silver yeah. that it's gonna create a little bit more of a stronger source. So I'll show you guys how I set it up. So I have it directly on right now. My light is at 4.0. I'm gonna start there. Um, we are pretty close to each other. I am going to put my settings on. I'm gonna do 200 ISO. 160th of a shutter and a 4.0 for f-stop. So let's see what that looks like. So it's right behind me when I shoot. I could put this actually a little, a little bit higher. I kind of wanted to see where Sean would be first. Um, and I stand usually like right underneath it like this. Um, we're gonna, again, use the B-flat as a background. It has a little bit of depth right now. So here we go. Oh, beautiful, look nice. at that. Yeah, that's already that's good gorgeous. to go. Um, so I do want to try and show you guys how it would look if it was on an angle. I'm going to bring in this little black sheet. Parabola is at an angle from Sean. It's like at a 45 degree. And I'm going to be right in front of Sean. <laughs> and we have this black bound so that white um, light is going to bounce in his face and hopefully give us a shadowed look. Let's try. Yes, there we go. Amazing. <laughs> These look great. I love the addition of the shadow because it just gives a little bit more depth. And yeah, so that's sometimes what I do. <laughs> that's me and Sean's one light setup. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys try it out. And email, text us, send us a message. Call if you have any, if you have any questions at all. All right, baby. Yeah.